Welcome to my channel. So before we get started make sure to hit that like button also subscribe to my channel. In this video, we will talk about Top 10 Sports Cars So make sure to watch the full video. 1 Porsche 911 The derivative range of Porsche's latest generation 911, the 992, has filled out quite a bit since its introduction in 2019. The car is now available in 380 bhp Carrera and Carrera T guises, as well as 444 bhp Carrera S and 473 bhp Carrera GTS forms, all powered by a 3.0-liter turbocharged flat-six engine, in coupe. Cloth top cabriolet and folding fixed head targa body styles, with either rear or four-wheel drive, or with eight-speed dual-clutch PDK automatic or seven-speed manual gearboxes. There are also the extra rapid GT3, GT3 RS, Turbo and Turbo S versions of the car on offer higher up the range, which we deal elsewhere within our Super Sports Car Top 10 chart. Two Porsche 718 Cayman GTS 4.0, Boxster GTS 4.0. Yes, it's a Porsche 12 at the top of the charts, but the German firm knows what it's doing when it comes to screwing together a sensational sports car. No more so than when Ziffenhausen took the decision to answer the critics and return an atmospheric flat six back into this car in 2019. It created series production 718 derivatives with prices well above £60,000 before you put a single option on them. And so, while the more affordable four-cylinder, sub-pound 50k 718 derivatives continue to present themselves to buyers with less to spend, and are ranked in our affordable sports car chart, Porsche's higher-end 718s have absolutely progressed in among the bigger fish of the sports car class. 3. Lotus Amira The last hurrah for internal combustion power at Lotus, the all-new Amira certainly has a lot resting on its shoulders. And the good news is that the Norfolk newcomer gets so much right, from its junior exotic looks, through to a chassis that maintains the decades-long tradition of Heffel handling greatness. There are some novelties for a Lotus too, such as an interior that delivers previously unheard of levels of luxury and quality, plus all the latest gadgets and gizmos. It's decently practical too, proving easier to get into and out of than an Evora and packing handy storage. This is an everyday usable sports car. 4 Chevrolet Corvette C8 Much has been written about General Motors' decision to gamble with this, the eighth generation of its iconic Corvette sports car, by switching from a front-mounted engine to a mid-mounted one. There were objective reasons to do it, because it improves the car's weight distribution, enhances its outright handling potential and also makes it more competitive for motorsport use. And there was a more complex argument that a mid-engine layout has become expected of an operator within this part of the sports car market, and the old C7 Corvette's front-engine configuration made it something of a relic to the latest generation of sports car buyers. 5. Jaguar F-Type Nearly a decade after its debut, the Jaguar F-Type is beginning its farewell tour. The British brand has announced its flagship sports car will die at the end of 2023, with no direct replacement in the pipeline. In fact, the sales fortunes of Jaguar's much-hyped successor to the Lion's designed E-Type will tell you much about the development of the modern sports car market. When it was launched in 2013, we imagine the buying public would value it as a sort of prettier and more dependable modern TVR, favoring the biggest hitting eight-cylinder engines and viewing it as a cheaper and more powerful front-engine rival to the 911. 6. Mercedes AMG SL Over the years the Mercedes SL has swung between out-and-out -out sports car and sunshine-seeking cruiser. But with this latest 7th generation machine the brand's drop-top two-seater is aiming to be more of the former and less of the latter. Underpinned by an all-new aluminium platform, this SL has been engineered exclusively by the performance-enhancing engineers at AMG, which gives you the clearest indication of the SL's intent. 7 Mercedes AMG GT With the space frame body structure of a supercar, a front-mounted engine from a muscle saloon, Suspension tuned for maximum attack on the track and yet the practicality and luxury allure of an elegant coupe or roadster. The Mercedes-AMG GT is an even more bewildering addition to the sports car world than the Mercedes-Benz SLS was. 8 BMW M240i X Drive Straddling the line between sports car and coupe, the fairly freshly minted 2 Series makes a compelling case for itself as a driver's car, particularly in racy M240i X Drive guys. This is the most focused version of the two-door machine until the arrival of the all-new M2, but it shares quite a bit of its motorsport-infused DNA with its brawnier brother. 9 Audi TT RS Like the Jaguar F-Type sitting a little higher up this list, the Audi TT RS is living on borrowed time. The brand has revealed that the curtain will be drawn down over the eye-catching coupe at the end of 2023, a quarter of a century after the original made its debut. 
10 Lexus LC. As a keen driver, you feel inclined to make a case for the LC. It has a superbly charismatic and likable V8 engine, while balanced, spry, involving handling makes it feel, at times, more of a natural rival for the Jaguar F-Type or Porsche 911 than the mix of two- and four-door sporting grand tourers that Lexus identifies as its true opponents. Hence its inclusion here. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to our channel before you go. Thank you for watching.